Orlando, Florida. A destination for families to enjoy the magic of Disney World and create memories that will last a lifetime. But it is also known as the breeding ground for the boy bands of the 90s. But now, after the careers have been made, as well as millions and millions of dollars, the mastermind behind the phenomenon, Lou Pearlman, has suddenly vanished without a trace. Girl. During his teenage years, Pullman was an aspiring guitar player Girl. who was known to brag about being a first cousin to one Art Garfunkel. Oh, well, far out, princess. What do you say? Hey, you know, Art Garfunkel's my cousin. Calm cousin Artie. I'll be here if you want to go out later. Not finding success as a musician, Perlman set his sights to the sky. Perlman started the aircraft company, Transcontinental Airlines, as a vehicle for fraud. Now that I have Transcontinental Airlines, what next? <gasps> Boy bands! Lou used to come in all the time and watch me dance to all the songs by the new kids on the block. Perlman used his love of Chippendale dancers and admiration of the band New Kids on the Block to create NSYNC, The Backstreet Boys, O-Town, LFO. Lou Perlman made millions upon millions off them all. Yes! Gone, you're gone, baby, you're gone. Girl, you're gone. Baby girl, you're gone. Perlman went on to create a Ponzi scheme that milked about $317 million for more than 1,400 individual investors and an additional $150 million from banks. Perlman got investors to put money into a, quote, secure interest-bearing savings fund, but he never reinvested their cash in profit-making ventures and has since fled the country. Lou Perlman is a bad, bad man, but I do love that O-Town. I got all your money! Arriva Dirce, schmucks! Here's a sketch artist's representation of what Lou Perlman may look like today. If you have information about the whereabouts of Lou Perlman, please contact us at 1-555-FIND-LOU.